huge thanks to you and Jesse um, for bringing me in, letting me be a part of it. Uh, because uh, I, I mentioned this to you, I think yesterday, um, I have several practices of mine, right? I have a meditation practice, morning ritual practice. I have um, my yoga practice, which is primarily teaching at this point. I teach and that's where I get my yoga, my presence from it. Um, and then I have my jujitsu practice, which I love so much. And then I have my, my optimized practice, my cold plunge practice. And if I had to choose, thank God I don't, I'm so privileged to be, <laughs> to be able to have all those things. But if I had to choose, if someone's like, all right, you only get to do one of those things three times a week, what's it going to be? I'm, I swear to God, it'd be optimized because when I'm in there and I might actually, oh, I just felt like a wave of emotion come in. Like my eyes fill up and I'm like, oh, this is truth. I'm not truth, but this is how I honestly feel in a really real way. Um, when I'm in there, when I'm in the cold, it's, it's, you know, sometimes it's like, yeah, like right now I, I hurt my ankle. I'm going to go to the cold to, to treat my ankle. Sure. But usually it's because I'm ready to be a more patient father. I'm ready to be a more present lover to my wife. And when I'm sitting in that cold, that's the work I'm doing. And that becomes like the most important thing for me um, to really to have that. So thank you guys for, for bringing this to us and uh, for having that. And I know you can do cold anywhere, but you've created a community where I feel safe to do there, where I can talk with other like-minded people. Um, and I get to do that work because, yeah, um, it, it can be a physical thing. It is very much so. But for me, it's so much about the mental and emotional part, parts of like, if I can sit in this cold for three minutes, I can sit and hold my son when he's having a tantrum. I can sit and listen to my wife and she's telling me a story. So thank you for yeah. sharing. And that's beautiful. Yeah. And yeah, you know, we built this place and we had no idea like what effect it really was going to have. And we had an idea in a sense of what it did for us, but we don't know how to translate to other people. And you know, if you build it, they will come. And so many wonderful people have really just showed up and um, became part of that community. And it's like one of my favorite places to hang out. When I'm at my house and yeah. I'm working here from the computer and I have to go into the center to go see how things are going, like that always puts a smile on my face. And um, I'm always happy to go there because of people like you who are there doing their practice. Our team is just amazing. And then, of course, the therapies are so powerful. Like, who would have known that cold water is like this yeah. stern but righteous teacher that exists? Like, like a, another medicine we know, huh? Yes, exactly. <laughs> and it's right there in front of our face our entire life. And we basically stayed away from it because we of fear. Because who the hell wants to get into cold water or a cold lake or Discomfort. a cold shower? There's Discomfort, just no room right? for that. And then you go... And then you learn this practice and then it becomes one of like your staple things that just really help to ground you. And it really helps with the busy mind. You know, I see a lot of people coming in and out of the center, of course, uh, a lot of different challenges that people are looking to overcome, some serious medical issues, uh, some things that people aren't really ready to talk about and some things that people are pretty open and ready to talk about, you know, hey, I'm super anxious, or I get depression or ADHD and all these different terms that are out there and that cold water can take a busy mind and just silence it. Bring, bring you back to the present. Yeah. Like because else, being right? present is not easy and it's sure the hell not easy for me. That's for sure. I've had a busy mind. I'm extremely mental in the sense that I process a lot of things from my mind. I have a strong mind and it's like a beauty and a blessing and a, uh, huge obstacle for my entire life. So my first cold plunge Same. was like, this is, this is it. This is something that, um, I'm going to be doing often. And it's funny that we've been able to create an entire